Hello everybody and welcome back to Mislingen. Now in the previous episode we put the sheep in, just over here. They're very happy sheep, we have ten of them, so... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Good. They're all here. None have escaped overnight, so at least I can sort of look after sheep. Now in the previous episode we did actually make sure they were fully fed and watered, so there is nothing to do here for probably six days or so. Three to six days. I don't know how long it is exactly, but yeah, that's good. Now we're probably going to buy some more sheep at some point, but we do need to make sure we have enough money for other stuff as well. They should breed, so that's obviously free. Free sheep! Yay! What a good deal. Uh, but yes, what we need to do is probably just park up this tank. We don't need to take it back to the yard since this is the only place it's going to be used. So I think if I just back it into this area, in fact I could do with tarmacking this area or just putting it in as dirt, just to make it look a bit neater. But we'll do that when we have a bit more money. Uh, today, the priority is to make sure that every single field is planted. So, we have three fields, three arable fields. One of them has been done, and two of them are yet to be done. So, I think we'll probably get this one here done first. Um, because when, when it's doing that, I can compact the silage pit. We'll cover that over and get it fermenting. And then we can finish off with the further away field, which has been uh, just cultivated. We've just cultivated in the uh, cover crop which is basically acted as fertilizer there is the silage pit as you can see it's probably about 10 percent compacted or oh, 32 percent nice good um it saves me a job if it is 32 percent over 10. uh right so what we need to do is get the most appropriate machine for drilling this field now, i suppose the best thing to do here would be to use the subsoiler but then again it is quite hard work for the tractor, so we'd have to use the uh, one over here. But yeah, we could use this. I mean, we could just use the New Holland for compacting the silage pit. It probably doesn't make a massive difference, so I don't think we're losing a great deal. Uh, but yes, the subsoil is just over here. If we fit that onto the tractor first, and then we put the, the drill on the back of the subsoiler, we're, we're basically killing two birds with one stone. Um, and also, it should, because we have put corn in before this particular crop, we're putting soybeans in, uh, it should actually make it more profitable, more productive, since I think you are supposed to plough after every corn crop anyway. So, yes, it is a wise thing to be doing. Unfortunately, I did spend money on putting the, uh, the Y tyres on here, but maybe that's going to make it better for compacting silage. More wheels, more compaction. I think that actually is how it works anyway. I'm fairly sure... Uh, that the more wheels you have in FS, the faster the silage pits compact. Unless they changed it, but yes, I'm I'm pretty sure that that's how it works in 17. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to do a bit myself because the worker is not going to be intelligent enough to do all of this. I haven't got course play set up, so yeah, we're just going to do it the way I usually do it. I don't think cosplay works yet on this map because it, I couldn't even enable it. I can enable it on all the other maps, but this one currently um, it doesn't allow you to. So it must be that it's just not currently set up for it, I would imagine. Okay, so we'll engage the, uh, the drill. Is that working? It is, but you can barely tell actually. Um, yeah, the stubble for corn is very similar to the cultivated texture. Seems to be taking a tree with me. That's not what I intended to do. Oh, look, that's already growing. That's started to grow really quickly. And it's already full of weeds. So that is another job for today. We do need to weed the field. But that's fine. If we can do it now, then that really does save quite a bit of money because otherwise we have to spend money on herbicide. Um, obviously, with a weeder, all you have to pay for is diesel. But with the, the big weeds, you'd have to pay for diesel and the herbicide itself. Okay, so I'm just going to get this done. Oh, that didn't work. Yes, I intended to pick up the whole thing. Yep. Just going to do the headlands at the at this side of the field and at the far side of the field. Just so it doesn't get really confused and crash into the fence. And then we can just stick it on a worker and it can get as much done as it possibly can do. Uh, in the meantime, I think, yeah, we'll do the weeding over there and the compacting of the silage. Okay, so we're ready to put on a worker. There we go. I've done that bottom end and the top end, and we really we shouldn't have to do a great deal between. Um, unless he gets stuck, he might get stuck on the drain. So if I just go over here, I can now start the very interesting job of going backwards and forwards 
over the chaff which is going to compact it but I really do hope it does increase the rate of compaction it should make it more level because obviously yeah, it's wider 34% 35% how much does it do for each time you drive over it about 2% yeah about 2% so backwards and forwards would be about 4% but yeah it's all very fun it's, <laughs> it's all very interesting stuff maybe I should be reversing because it might push it all out the front if I keep doing it like this anyway either way uh, whichever way is best I'm going to now put it onto a time lapse and hopefully we can get this done alright and that can get that done alright Done. Unlike the worker, yes I didn't realise because we've got the subsoiler on, it keeps thinking that even though we have drilled that part, it needs to go over it again with the subsoiler. So yes, that's it's not a yeah, not a good setup uh, for using the worker with. Anyway, that is done. So that is gonna be fermented in probably a couple of days' time, and then we can set up the uh, conveyor belt system and get it all sold for really hopefully a good profit. Let's just take a look at the current price of silage. Currently, £598 per 1,000 litres, which is very good. Now, because that hasn't worked, what I'm going to have to do is set up the cultivator. Of course, we won't get the periodic ploughing thing done. But I think I might have turned off anyway, a couple of episodes back. Um, since, yeah, it has been ploughed recently, so it's a bit unnecessary. Right. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get that done. Get the seed drill on the go. And then, obviously, this isn't going to take too long. Technically, we've got the wrong machine. <laughs> the cultivator should be on the bigger tractor. If it can pull it, we'll get away with it. But if not, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a challenge. We're going to have to swap over. And then, yes, going back to what I was saying, we're going to have to do the weeding over there while that tractor, or this tractor, gets on with the... Uh, yep, that's, that's not worked. Let's just get that swapped over. It would be a wise idea. <laughs> um... Yes, right. So we're ready to put that back onto the seed drill. I should never have removed it in the first place. Uh, and that's just going to have to wait now. It's going to have to wait for us to complete the cultivating. Uh, so, yep. Let's just get it done. It really doesn't take too long. It's a really good working width. My machines are now very mucky. But there's no point cleaning them until I have completed these tasks. Otherwise, it's just going to be filthy again. Right, so I have already been here, it's already drilled, don't want to waste the seed. Uh, and yeah, we, we'll just get it done, so see you in a minute. Well, it's almost done. Uh, the worker really is not happy at all. It keeps getting very confused. Uh, also, the crop has started to grow, so I've turned uh, growth off completely since it is just way too fast. It's on slow, but in FS, even slow is it's pretty quick. Uh, good for multiplayer, but for single player, not really. So, yeah, I think the way I'm going to do this is if I'm doing some drilling, I'll keep plant growth off completely so we don't get partially grown sections and then after that put it on slow best way of doing it it seems to be whenever it gets down to this end that it gets confused so we'll see what it does this time last time it just sort of vibrated the drill which uh, well isn't very <laughs> it's not a very productive thing to be doing I think he was trying to pick it up and lower it at the same time really weird This time it's mastered it, good. Well, hopefully it can continue without crashing. 
Um, yeah, seems alright. Okay, well I'm going to go and take this back and then we're going to have to clear the subsoiler out of this field because the subsoiler is just casually parked over there. Let this pass first and we also need to keep it up, uh, keep it filled with seed. So, yeah, do we have, we do have a flatbed trailer actually. We'll use the flatbed trailer, hopefully get some seed, although <laughs> typically uh, my seed drill is on the tractor with the front loader. We need some pallet forks for a three-point linkage, that'd be great. I think there might actually be a mod, so if it's really cheap in the game, uh, we could go for that. Could be a very good idea. And obviously I'd be buying the, the pallets of seed instead of the bags of seed. But first, let's drop this here. And the subsoil that is probably close to getting crashed into. There it is. Uh, yes, it's in the firing line for this one, I think. Is it going to just plow past it? Or is it going to wait? It's going to plow past it. That was close. Sort of leaps into the air a bit, but didn't stop it from drilling, which is good. Okay, well, yeah, hopefully that is just going to be all we have to do now. Obviously, the, uh, the manhole cover could be an issue, understandably. But I'm hoping not to intervene too much. This can be parked over here. Yeah, so I'm going to just go and take a look on Mod Hub. I'm 90% sure there is uh, a three point linkage pally fork. If it's cheap enough, should be. I would imagine it should be about £200 because I bought one for my compact tractor in real life and that was £200 new. So, yeah, shouldn't be any more than that. I suppose a fully sized, fully agricultural sized tractor is going to be a bit more, but two to 300 thereabouts. I've just found them. I haven't enabled them in the game yet, but in the time that I was looking on Mod Hub, uh, the tractor actually managed to do this section. I missed it going around the, uh, the manhole cover, but it has actually done it. So that is really good. Uh, anyway, yes, yeah, so I'll go and enable it and see exactly how much it's going to cost us. Okay, so here it is. It's in baling technology, and as you can see, they're actually bale spikes, but they can be converted. At least this one here can be converted to have pallet forks. Uh, so if you wanted to just pick up bales, that's £350. Good price. Uh, but if you do want to have the multi-purpose tool, which allows you to pick up pallets or a single bale or two bales, um, it is a bit more. But luckily, the pallets are actually free. It's a free configuration. Uh, so it is £700. So if we did want to get it, we could do. We could buy that and put it on something like the Zeta tractor. I think I will do actually. Because you never know, it could be really handy in the future. And whilst that is finishing off, I can head over to the store and buy some more seed. But you can just fill up there of course, but we're not going to if we're going to be way over in a different field. Um, I'm actually hoping to expand the farm that way, the way that we have got through the field, like over here. So, I don't know which field we can buy next, something obviously in our price range, this sort of area, which would be a lot of travelling just to go to the silo. Love the fact the silo is there, but I do need to be able to transport seed around the map as well. So, yeah, we're going to pick it up. And of course, yeah, it's not just seed that comes on pallets, we need to uh, bring fertilizer to the farm. I don't think there's a sign of fertilizer. And we also need to bring uh, herbicide, all that kind of stuff. You might even be able to move a few bells around. As you can see, that's just finishing off. But that's gone very well. Yes, yeah, so if you do want to use this mod pack, it is available on the official mod hub. Um, and I haven't used it yet, but I, from what I can see so far, I would recommend it just a handy thing to have. Oh look, we can use it straight away to bring back some lime. It's another thing that we do need to transport. So yeah, I think seed was a really bad example actually. I shouldn't have said it's for seed. It's for everything except seed. Can you change the uh, spacings? I would imagine you can do. I don't know. But you can see there's different pinholes. For those pallet forks to move. I'm too sure. But if it's set correctly for a pallet anyway, it doesn't bother me. Easy. 
even I can use it. And that is saying something. And I think, yeah, you can strap things on. Just to uh, make sure it doesn't come flying off when you floor it around the corner. I'd say that's a good mod. Definitely. Look out, fool! Right, so the tractor has finished its job. Uh, there is a very small section which has to be done over the far side, so I'll do that. And then we can take it over to the other field and, um, yeah, get it going there as well. I think all three fields are going to be soybeans. It would just make perfect sense. Plus, we're going to get a huge amount of cash when we come to sell three fields worth. So, I'm really looking forward to it. And I still haven't been able to do my weeding. I need to do my weeding. We can do that whilst it's working over there. This field has been a bit more complicated than I was expecting. Um, but yeah, the other field is almost square. There is one section which isn't, but even so, it shouldn't have an issue. Whoa! All the different sources of income. This farm is soon going to be doing well. I know we only have £528, but that is soon going to change. We have 170 something thousand litres of silage. We have, there's going to be three fields of soybeans. And there's also wool. So at some point, probably in a week, we're going to be rich. It's about time as well, because I did want to buy some more machinery. That was heavy. Right, okay. Yes, that was very heavy. I don't think this piece is actually drillable. Almost is. It's because it's not perfectly level. We can smooth that with the terrain editor. Hmm. Maybe I should do. Maybe I should attempt... Unless that's going to mess it up. Would that mess it up? Yeah, it puts it back as grass. Well, next time we come to cultivate, we can get that sorted out. So just for now, there's going to be some grass there. Um, but yeah, in the future, it's going to be available to plant. Anyway, this is the section I was talking about. Let's just get it done, and then we can move on. And there we go. Field completed. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the silo, fill it up with seed. It's 31% full, uh, so we might as well fill it up to the top if we can afford it. Should be able to. It's not a huge capacity, and seed is nowhere near as expensive as fertilizer. But we're about to find out. Let's see if we can afford it. We can. £257. Now for a journey over to our brand new field. And then a journey back to here to sort out the weeds. Yeah, I think we've seen enough drilling for one day. Uh, so we'll just leave it to it. And this is really the last field that we have to drill. And then everything is going to be growing. We're going to be in a very good position. Yeah. <laughs> That is wide. Um, could have gone left there, but we can also go left up here, beyond the train line. Yeah, these are the fields I want to buy. I realise every time I go past the sign, I take it down. Yeah, in the ideal world, we'd have a drill which we can fold up, or at least have a transport trailer for this one, but unfortunately, money won't allow it. It's not an excuse to uh, for us taking down the uh, the signs, though. But luckily, when I reload, they'll reappear. The council was haters. After every gaming session I do, the virtual council come out and put all the signs back. They're a good team. I wish all councils were like that. Here we are. Let's uh, yeah, let's just get it going. Leave it to it. go and uh, yeah that's good okay right so into the Renault uh, I don't know if there's going to be crop destruction yet we shall find out but we do have uh, narrow tires for this tractor maybe it's worth putting them on I think the crop has actually updated the, uh, the crop has grown since I last showed you it properly. It would be wise to put some narrow tyres on. 
Uh, customize. Narrow. It's good. And yeah, let's go. Let's get this done. The final job of today. Now, as for tomorrow's jobs, I suppose there's going to be a bit of spraying. But really, I'm hoping not to have much of a gap between the planting of the soybeans and the harvesting. Uh, and also the selling of the silage. So we might actually progress a bit faster between this episode and the next one. It might be that we are selling silage and harvesting at the same time. Or selling silage and spraying. Yeah, harvesting will follow in the episode after that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully there will be some form of income. Most likely in the fermented silage. Well, here we go. Let's get those weeds ripped out of here. And then that should be a really nice field. It does say all sea radish, but it's not switched on, so you don't have to worry about that. It is literally just weeding. It isn't seeding as well. we go just got this final stretch to do and then it'll be a lovely weed free feel now I've been trying to think of a vote to do because it is the interactive series and actually I can't think of one um, we are hopefully going to be buying the Volvo wheel loader at some point but I don't know really know the priorities of what we should get next so maybe I'm not going to do a vote but if you can comment down below what you think would be a suitable machine uh, to to buy to either replace something or add to the farm then please do, yeah, just post down below. I think we probably should consider upgrading the seed drill at some point. Uh, and if we do that, I could actually sell this and then get a bigger weeder as well. The only reason why I'm not getting a bigger weeder yet is because this is actually a weeder, in fact the only weeder, which has the ability to plant canola and also the cover crop and grass. So, yeah it's actually bigger than our current cedar. But let me know, what should we do? Should we buy a different tractor? Which brand? What model? Or should we get a different implement? Or should we just keep saving money for land? Because land is not cheap, as everybody knows. Uh, we also do have a loan to repay, which is unfortunate. But if we can really just get a lot of money from this silage, hopefully next time, um, we should be doing really well. I will go and take a look at the fermentation state, fermenting stage percentage of uh, the, the silage just to see exactly how far off it is, give me an idea if, it, if it's going to be ready tomorrow. Hopefully it is going to be ready tomorrow but it's just not always easy to tell. So we'll take a look. Fifty seven. Oh definitely, wow. I've only just done that. 57% fermented. Well, that guarantees. Oh, I've put the frames per second up. Uh, yeah, that guarantees that we are we are selling silage tomorrow, along with spraying, and this is going to be finishing off as well. It's actually better if it doesn't finish because we don't have the money to pay the worker, but we will do after tomorrow. So, yep, yeah, we're going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the, the video, and uh, until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.